Good morning. My name is Sandro Bonazzola. I'm a manager working for Red Hat, and within the Over project, I'm managing relays, node, and integration teams. And I'm the Over community liaison for Red Hat. On behalf of the Over communities around the globe and of the organizing committee, I want to welcome all of you to this second Over online conference. I'm going to assume all of you already know the OVIR project. For those of you who are approaching the OVIR project for the first time, I would recommend to go over the last year conference recordings, which are available on the OVIR YouTube channel. This time, I'm going to focus on a different topic for the project. I don't know how many of you had a chance to run it, but maybe this will bring back memories. This is how the Overt Engine portal was back at Over 3.0 relays. You may remember the green silver branding and the administration portal showing the data center in a tree view. I guess less people can remember Over Node installation back then. With its own custom installer and its text-based UI. Back then, you could install the engine only on its own host, and the over node wasn't that similar to a standard OS installation. These days, over is much different. Installing over node is pretty similar to a standard OS installation with Anaconda, and configuring over node is much easier and can be done remotely using the cockpit project interface, which also allows you to monitor the status of your node. And you can also install Overt Engine in a VM, not requiring additional hardware for the management of your data center. The Overt Engine also changed a lot, not only with the branding, but also in its usability, its reporting capabilities, and its management features. The OVIR project has very old roots. Started in 2007 with OVIR node, but it's only starting 10 years ago with the introduction of the OVIR engine that OVIR became the management system as you know it these days. Feature came and have gone over the time following the new technologies and leaving behind the obsoleted or poorly maintained ones. Each of these releases brought with them a huge amount of work from hundreds of contributors who dedicated time and effort to get the project to its current state. And I'd like to thank them for all those work and encourage you to join them in making the project even better. Over project development is driven by community. It's driven by you. Whenever you reply to an over survey or fill a bug or discuss an over mailing list, you are shaping over it. It takes a considerable amount of time and effort to keep these channels monitored, collect idea and reported issue, and organize them in a trackable way within a tool that can allow you to plan action upon them. When a new release starts, most of the planning work is about taking decisions on what needs to be addressed first, what can wait, what impact most of the users, and what's a corner case. Someone will be happy, someone will be disappointed, but there's only a limited amount of things that can be handled in a release. For each of those Bugzilla entries, a set of patches are prepared by developers reviewed by peers, then manually verified, and then tested by automation. And those automation tests need to be written, updated, and maintained. And of course, once they run, results need to be reviewed, failures need to be investigated, and fixes to be prepared as a result. And for each of those changes, Translation and documentation may require updates as well. Updates that then need to be tested again. 
You will hear today a presentation from Steve Goodman about upstream first over documentation. And finally, package everything, give a last round of testing, publish to mirrors, and announce the relays. I would like to take a second here to thank the GAR, Group of the Harmonization of Research Network Consortium, for the brand new mirror they provided here in Italy. And by the way, we also need to celebrate. We need more cakes on releases. If you're wondering how you can help, you'll hear today a presentation from Lev Beide about contributing to OVI. So, now that you know how OVI is made, I would expect you to join helping out with the planning of the next release. Back in January, I wrote a to user mailing list about current plans regarding OV44 and 4.5. Back then, we were missing a substantial feature set to be planned to justify a new 4.5 version. And starting in 4.4.6, the OV project switched to CentOS 3 Mate as base platform for OV. I keep seeing questions about when OV will switch to Rocky or Alma Linux. So I want to take the chance to remember you that despite OVIRT is developed on top of CentOS 3 Mate, and we consider it stable for production workloads, you can still install OVIRT on Red Hat Enterprise Linux or any other derived distribution. The only issue is that you may need to wait for the next release of those distributions in order to be able to consume some of the OVIRT new feature. You will hear today a talk from Alma Linux project about Alma Linux being a new path for CentOS and an old friend for Ovid. So the current state for Ovid is that the current software stack relies on what described here, which is included in Ovid 448 content. We realize it in August. And you wonder what's next? Well, developers are now exploring CentOS Stream 9 support but it has not been decided yet what to do with CentOS 3 Mate once we will have CentOS Stream 9. The current OVERT infrastructure may not be enough to keep maintaining both. Also, the community is showing interest to ARM64 support, and the OVER team at Red Hat would be happy to help getting this in, but the project is lacking the hardware to test, and the current contributors lack experience with that architecture. As I already said, community has the power to shape over it. I'm looking forward to see it happening with this release. Now, let's see what's new since last year. Ovirt is a global community who counts more than 1,600 people in the main Facebook group. But it's also reality of local communities around the globe, which are growing. The increment that you see here is compared to September 2020. I'm happy that community leads joined the organizing committee preparing this conference as in the past year. And I would also like to welcome the over Vietnam community, which opened their Facebook page in July this year, and the Chinese community, which seems to be silently around for a while and pretty active in China. I would like to encourage those community to reach out to user mailing list and get engaged for the next year conference. And about the product based on Overt, you already know about the historical downstream for Overt project. No need to mention them. I tried to reach out to other downstream, but nobody replied so far. So if you're shipping over rebuilds, your company is missing here. Let the over project know about you. Let the user know about you. On the over website, you can find a few featured stories from the past years under the community section. A thing that I like to repeat in these conferences is that the first over user is the over project itself. In over project data center, we are running it on nine data centers, 15 storage domains for 11 hosts with 134 VMs. If you want to share your story, feel free to open an issue on the Ovid site GitHub, and we'll help you publishing it. 
all weird and its derivatives are used by several companies for different purposes. This is only a subset of the companies that reached out to over user mailing list over the past year. And looking at user mailing list traffic, I noticed a trend of new users from various universities, laboratories, libraries, and public sector. You will hear today one talk from them, Paul Stanifor from Leeds Beckett University, which will tell us about running over it in a home lab and laptop. And you can imagine my surprise and pride seeing a mail coming from NASA Jet Propulsion Lab, NASDAQ, and the European Synchrotron Radiation Facility. For whatever you use of it, if you can share how you use it, we are eager to hear your story. Thank you everyone for joining today's conference. I hope you will enjoy it.